Yo, what it is, everybody. Thanks for tuning back into another episode here on the Speedbug channel. I want to talk to you guys a little bit about, well, since we're down to the GSXR 600 and my GSXR 1000 are over there in the corner, and of course, the two Gromskis. Motorcycle garage is looking a little bit empty, and I am getting back into racing the cars and stuff like that a little bit more as well with the Corvette. Uh, I didn't obviously build that car and spend all that money on that car to not race it. Even though the car is very set up more so for pro touring, uh, because I kind of like to still drive it sometimes on the street. But uh, I primarily race the car and do drag racing and stuff with it. But it can do other things as well. And I probably will start to do some other things with it. Maybe take it around the road course or something like that. Uh, because it is set up more for like that. I do like that look. But... A drag pack eventually and stuff like that will come and I wanted to kind of tell you just a little bit about a little bit what's coming next as well for the uh, for the garage and the garage uh, I don't plan on buying any new motorcycles uh, right now until something comes out I'm not gonna lie like I said as you guys already know it kills me to say it uh, you know I hate <laughs> I don't really care and hate you know for the brand of you know, Yamaha I really do love the new 2020 R1M uh, but I will not be buying that bike for $27,000, which pretty much out the door after taxes, fees, and all that other BS. It's probably going to be somewhere around the neighborhood of $31,000, $32,000. So uh, for all carbon fiber bike, and you don't want to get a nick or anything like that inside of it, it's just I don't even want to deal with it. But uh, the new one, it looks sick. It's awesome. I did like the way the other one rode. I would primarily use it on the track. But again, am I buying that bike then to... Take all the plastics off and then buy race plastics, which I should, uh, but uh, I'm not rich, uh, at least not yet, and I don't want to do that with my new 2020 R1M that is not coming to the garage. So uh, what else is coming uh, to the garage for now? Uh, if you guys uh, haven't known yet or seen, I will touch base on the Camaro. Uh, whether or not that car will be coming back to the garage. We still have the Trans Am, the Corvette, and the yellow Corvette. And uh, that's pretty much it. I'm going to lay low and concentrate a little bit more on myself. But uh, we will be doing some more racing, as you know, some pulls and stuff like that. We still got uh, all my friends' bikes and stuff like that with Ducatis and, and CBRs and Yamahas and BMWs and all kinds of other stuff that will still be coming to the channel. But... Not really too sure exactly what's going to be the next big move, but uh, maybe who knows, depending on which manufacturer releases the next cool bike, then uh, we'll see if I actually, you know, got to have that one. But uh, the last two didn't really turn out to be so great, and I just really didn't care for it. And that's meaning the uh, Ducati V4, the Panigale, and of course the 2020 S1000RR. Uh, again, both great bikes, just not great street bikes which we all know and for the people that still want to keep bragging and say oh well it's a race bike to begin with well i guess so is your gsxr but it's a damn uh, much better damn street bike than any of the other bikes uh pretty much out there uh the zx10 is it's pretty much only close competitor uh when it comes down to street driving and uh comfortability uh next to compare to the uh, gsxr the cbr and the r1 are not even close neither is the aprilia or any of the ducatis or anything like that as far as the crotch rocket territory so and uh, for the ones that want to sit there and argue and say it, you're full of shit because i've owned all of them and it's not even the case so but i also want to tell you you know i've also been hit up many times you know do some rides hang out with some subscribers and things like that and meet up with you guys uh also do some reviews and stuff on your guys's bike so uh some of the bikes that haven't been on the channel uh, i will also be able to review and do some of those whether you have a ducati or some type of uh other bike that i don't have or anything like that that you guys are you know curious to know my opinion of course i can meet up with you and we'll do some things like that and some things you know down the road and things like that i don't know but i you know, i pretty much wing my channel every single day i don't really ever have a set plan and i just kind of go with the flow with what makes me feel happy but uh that's pretty much it so we're gonna probably focus a little bit more on the car stuff for a little bit uh still do the bike stuff just do some drag racing and everything else under the sun but uh We'll see where the channel goes and we'll see where it takes us. 
And uh, who knows, maybe I just might get the itch again to build a turbo bike, build a turbo Hayabusa like I always wanted to. So we'll see, who knows? Uh, depends on how I wake up that day and feel and uh, we'll go there. But you guys are always welcome to leave your comments and suggestions below. I always read them and uh, we'll go from there. Thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you for another episode. Peace guys. Now I wasn't just gonna allow this to go, but I'll just throw it in the same video. Two cars I've kind of been toying around either maybe getting. The Viper or the McLaren. Two different cars. Yes, we know the McLaren has that little bit more exotic wow factor, a little bit. But the Viper just has that still exotic wow factor. You got DCT versus raw stick shift, you know, American raw muscle. Um, the Viper will destroy the McLaren around a racetrack. The McLaren, you can drive from Florida all the way to Canada comfortably. The Viper, you want to take it from here to the store down the street, you can't wait to get the hell out of it. McLarens are a little bit more common. You see them all the time, like, oh, sweet, look at that, that's a McLaren, that's badass, that's awesome. Viper, you're like, damn, that's a Viper. That shit's bad. But what are you going to do? And uh, those are the two I've been kind of toying around to get away. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, two completely different cars and uh, two completely different styles of driving. Uh, two completely different handling cars, acceleration. Everything about them couldn't be more different. And uh, I don't know which one I want to pick, you know. I'm that American more muscle car guy and uh, I really love the Viper. And it's definitely been more of a dream car for me. But I really also love that freaking McLaren. And uh, the McLaren has that, uh, also that wow exotic factor. So does the, the Viper, but the Viper's that loud, raw, and in, in, I'm in your face. The McLaren's kind of like, I don't know, the, the bouginess. And it's got the cool doors and stuff like that, but it'll never be as, as raw and as mean as a Viper. So let me know what you guys think. Nothing's definitive, but we'll see what happens. Peace.